Hello, Dr. Craig. I'm Hi. A, I'm a Christian. Um, and one of the things I, I, that's really difficult for me um, as I witness to unbelievers is um, giving a good analogy of the Trinity. Are there any good analogies out there that can, that can represent the Trinity? Um, yeah. At, at least somewhat. Well, I have to. one, though it's, it's, uh, it's sort of controversial. But I, I, yeah, I do have one, and I, I lay this out in um, J.P. Moreland in my book, Philosophical Foundations for a Christian Worldview. There's a chapter on the Trinity. And I think a good analogy for the Trinity is the mythological dog that guarded the gates of Hades in Greek mythology named Kerberos. Uh, Hercules, as one of Hercules' task was to go and capture Kerberos, who guarded the gates of Hades. Kerberos was a three-headed dog. Now, that's really interesting because what it means is Kerberos had three minds, uh, canine minds, obviously, but we could invest these minds with self-consciousness and self-awareness if we wanted to so that you would have three canine persons. And yet, clearly, Kerberos was one dog. He was one animal. Uh, and these three minds had to work cooperatively in order for Kerberos to be an effective guard dog uh, at Hades. So it seems to me you have a very nice analogy here of three persons in one being, uh, which is the doctrine of the Trinity, that we have three persons that are one God. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Gray. Mm -hmm.